What are you hearing about the situation in the countryside, the areas that were most affected? Well, what we're hearing is that, um, well, the numbers, uh, uh, the very grand numbers, uh, they're speaking about hundreds of thousands of dead and about bodies floating uh, in the rivers in the deltas. There, as you know, is intense international pressure to get aid into the country. Are the people of Myanmar showing any signs of frustration with their government? Are they aware of this situation? They are aware of the situation. The people that I spoke with, they said, well, look, we don't really know what happened because the government um, did not really allow any information. And they were even afraid to speak with me about it because they said, if they hear me speak with you, then I might go to prison. So there is a lack of information, and I think that if there are reporters here, uh, they hide away, because uh, I know that only a day or two ago, um, a correspondent was tossed away from here. So uh, it's very hard to work, it's very hard to gather information, it's very hard to know what really happens here. And I think that we are all being fed by information, by the government. We know nothing about the numbers. The numbers could be very small or could be very large. So even if people are angry, they're too afraid to express that anger? I think so. And I think this is when you control information and when people, maybe the people in the uh, countryside were hit and very hit hard and a lot of them died and a lot of them, they don't have any housing and they don't have uh, a clean water and other things. But the people that were not hit are really deprived from the situation because the television doesn't show anything. And uh, the general, let's say, official uh, speaking about is, yes, there was a disaster, but we operate the army. And yes, you see a lot of army trucks going around and doing all sorts of things, but nobody really knows. So the little man on the street, he doesn't really know what to think and what really happened.